welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Zero from TechTracker.info and today we are taking a look at Venom Ghoster in the Object 268 number 4, version 4? I'm not entirely sure what it's called, the full name I mean. But yeah, the uh, 268 4, I guess, for right now. Um, looks a lot like a certain British tank. Actually, I guess it looks a lot like the uh, Russian TDs as well. The uh, lower tiered versions. So yeah, let's uh, take a look at what this thing can do. Um, I really don't know that much about the thing. Um, let's see, what did it get? A 650 damage and almost 300 penetration with its normal rounds. So the gun at least seems pretty capable. I think the armor was pretty decent as well. I don't know about the lower plates. I think this one had a driver slit, didn't it? Uh, no, this one does not have a driver's slit. Okay. So, spot an I7 there. Not sure if we actually spot them or somebody else, but time to pull back and not get shot in the face. There are two pieces of artillery, so gotta be careful for that. You know they're gonna be splashing on our face. Hoping to get a sweet little uh, view there across the map, but no sort of luck. And of course, once we're past there, there's tanks popping up all over the place. Coming around the corner here, a little bit dangerous. This tracks could have been blown off if there was somebody sitting on this corner. Luckily, there is not. Ooh, hello. Oof. Ow. Now, let's see, how does this thing stack up? Probably want to pull back so you're... Not sure who or what he shot, but he didn't shoot us. And we're gonna go for the ram, yes, ram kill, instel, bouncer shot from a mouse that's down there apparently. Where's his damn mouse? There he is. And, oh, yeah, he angled his turret at the exact right moment. So, nope, denied. See that Venom here is currently loading uh, the skill. <laughs> nah, um, what do these things do? 650 damage, 360 penetration, and panning there, and we bounce a shot from the mouse. Now the mouse got buffed, oh, I want to say about four pat no, three patches ago? Four? How long has it been? But anyways, the um, cheeks, I guess, of the turret are flat enough to penetrate with this thing's uh, um, high explosive anti-tank ammo. We seem to be chasing down a mouse who is currently running away from us because I think he realizes that he can't pin us. Oh, I was gonna say side of the turret there. Oh, and we managed to bounce yet another ah, yet another shell from the mouse. This thing is eating up the mouse alive. And got a little bit of damage there from ramming. Ramming a mouse, usually not a good idea. And in the meantime, we bounce yet another shell. This thing seems to be pretty damn tough. We're about loaded. We go for the turret cheek. Turret cheek, yes, turret cheek gone. And we bounce yet another shell from the mouse. Holy crap, how sturdy is this damn thing? Now, this is a bit dangerous coming through here. We're not loaded yet. The I7. <laughs> no shits were given. Rams the I7 from behind. As <laughs> his tracks get taken off by the ram. And we take our first bit of actual enemy damage. Looking for a shot there, lower plate, or through the tracks. That works as well. Wiggle, 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 and he gets finished off by a teammate that's behind us. Looking at the back of the Conqueror, I <laughs> couldn't quite tell, but it is the back. And finish off the Conqueror for kill number three. Holy crap, ruining this thing is just wrecking face. And absolutely no shits were given. Taking a couple of shells there to the face. Shooting low in the lower plate. Barely leaving him at 67 health. As he gets finished off by our teammates. Good stuff there. SDV, uh, SDRV down the line somewhere. Looking at the low plate with E75. Finishing him off as well. Yakupanza E100 off to our right. He shouldn't have a line on us right now. Nice little spot on the bridge there, but it also means that you're going to be very, very, very visible to everybody else. 
That Panzer E100 is definitely looking at our face. We might not want to come around the corner here. As he gets shot, he still wants to look at us. Artillery raining down on him. And... Okay! Taking out the Yakpan Z100 for the last kill. Let's take a look at the stats. Damn. <laughs> hey, just a real short little uh, info thing with Jingy here. <laughs> Before we head over to the stats. Um, I just want to let you know that we now also have a Discord channel up and we also have a Patreon page up. Links are in the description of the video. Go check them out and let me know what you think. And hang out with us in the Discord. Um, anytime at home, um, I'm pretty much in there. So drop by and say hello. That was it. Let's uh, carry on with the stats, shall we? And here we are with the stats. Mercy Batch First Class. We got a Bruiser Shellproof Fighter Fire for Effect and a high caliber. We got spotting damage on lower, 78, woohoo! Uh, that's the last little health he had, otherwise we would have gotten another kill. Dang it, that would have been a top gun. Uh, we got spotting damage on the mouse and spotting damage on the Yakpan Z100. Let's take a look. Eh, we did quite well. <laughs> Is this thing balanced? I am not entirely sure, but something tells me it not quite is balanced right now. Holy crap, Rune. Yeah, it is uh, version 4, the name. 7,218 damage done, 5 kills, 1,171 experience. And the next best person on our team was a T20 prototype. Nicely done. Um, with just shy of 3,000. We did more than double his damage. Um, you could almost add the first 3 people in the enemy team together to get our damage. This is ridiculous. Fire 13, hit 13, pen 12, 7,000 damage done, over 7,000, took 10 hits, 2 penetrated, 8 did not, for a grand total of 3,200 damage bounced. Spotted 3, uh, damage 7, killed 5, 433 spotting damage, did not drive very far, did lose a little bit of money, um, probably if we didn't fire those premium rounds would have made money, but then penning the mouse would probably have been difficult. So, yeah, that's a choice you make. Um, and received a grand total of 2300 experience for the first win of the day, pretty nice. So there you have it, the Object 268 version 4, what do you think? Is this thing balanced? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching, if you liked this video give it a thumbs up, if you want to see more please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.